Okay guys, what's going on everybody? Good morning. So I've got another Freightliner for you with the DD-13. This is an EPA 10, okay? So 2011, 2012, 2013, maybe even 2014, depending on the cutoff. Now the customer states he's got a NOx efficiency fault code and a poor def quality fault code. So I'm gonna plug in, I'm gonna show you what I see as we're going along. But one thing I want you to notice is there is an, a small, exhaust leak okay which means one of the clamps is probably not sealing that could be contributing to our fault code if you're gonna see there okay so we gotta definitely take care of that as well um, again by the book you're gonna have to eliminate those exhaust leaks and if you can see it here see all that ash and soot it's actually on the side of the chassis so gotta eliminate that gotta take care of that uh, that's gonna be on our to-do list but first thing first let's plug in and see what we find. Now again, this does have the DEF metering unit here on the side. Uh, it's a little different than what you guys are probably used to now because of the different years and changes. Actually, it's a pretty big exhaust leak. If you guys look here, let's see. Let's see if I can get a clean finger on this thing. All right, pretty clean. Take a look. Yeah, so we definitely have to take care of that. This one box may have to come down and out. That's how I like to do it. I like to take this shit apart and actually work on it outside. Yeah, there's a lot of soot. Um, I know the customer mentioned something about a leak here. That could have been contributing to that. But from what I'm seeing here, we have an exhaust leak coming from the one box. So this may have to come down so I can get a better visual inspection on what's going on inside. But let's plug in and go from there. All right, guys, so take a look. We are on the one box. Okay, here is the outlet side. Let me back this little camera view up a little bit, show you guys what we're gonna do. All right, there we go. So again, there's your one box. Here is your metering unit up there. Here is your dosing air supply or dosing slash air into the one box. Bear with me. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is let this thing cool off, number one. Ah, uh, fuck, hold on. And there is our temperature sensor for the SCR. Let's see if you can see that there. Hold on, guys. There we go. I'm all over the place and I'm trying not to get burned. So this is going to be your SCR temp outlet. And the one just above it, as you can see where my finger's pointing, that is your Knox outlet sensor. So we're going to spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 and loosen that up. Once it cools off, we're going to take that out. I'm going to show you again a little trick that we learned. And it actually works pretty good with this particular setup uh, on the EPA-10. So... Let me spray that, let it cool off, and then hopefully we'll have some good success or some good luck taking out that sensor very carefully. And I'm gonna show you what we do and how we do it. Okay guys, so here we are. I don't know, apparently I didn't hit the record button. Fucking moron that I am. Uh, started that up, oil pressure is good. We've got some codes here, let's see what they are. Okay, that's related to the truck, which is fine. I don't have any lights on here, which is great. I'm gonna do a quick efficiency test. So if you go over to your service routines on your left, on your upper right, you're gonna see SCR system. You're gonna go ahead and click on where it says perform parked SCR test. So go ahead and do that. It will automatically do it on its own. Once it warms up, you're gonna see the NOx efficiency, I'm sorry, NOx inlet, NOx outlet, and then your efficiency rate, okay? This truck does have some codes that are pertaining to efficiency, which you're gonna see that there. Knox efficiency, low, very low, SPN 4364, SPN 4364, FMI 1 and 18. And you're gonna see improper death quality and quality warning. Now those actually go hand in hand, they go together. You may have perfect, brand new, clean death, but if the efficiency is low, that may you know, automatically it's gonna trigger that deaf quality thing. So you're gonna to have to check your deaf, make sure it's good deaf quality. Um, again, exhaust leaks, but for now, again, what I wanna do is just simply do the SCR test or the efficiency test. So I'm gonna let it do it on its own. It's gotta warm up, it's gotta reach certain temperatures. It takes probably about 20 minutes. Um, let's go from there. I may do a park regen also just to see what the overall numbers and pressures are just to get a better feel for it. Okay guys, so we're just about five minutes in. Again, nothing solid, nothing concrete. On your bottom left, you're gonna see where it says def pressure, def air pressure, those are good numbers. This is your inlet pressure, okay, 161. And again, the bottom pressure is still stabilizing, it's still doing what it's gonna do. It's 
no longer warming up, but you can see there it says test in progress stabilizing. Makes sense. So efficiency as of now is at 2%, but again, not there yet. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Now this is just measuring the SCR system. So I'll keep you guys posted again. I just want to show you that temperatures are good, coolant's good. Let's let's keep an eye on it. Let's go. From there. Okay, guys. One of the things I forgot to mention really quick. What is important to note or to understand is mileage. Okay, the truck has 633,000 miles, and according to Detroit, these one boxes typically last about 600,000 miles, maybe 750, depending on their cycle, duty cycle, life cycle, all that crap. So as of now, look at that efficiency. Zero. We have zero efficiency. So I'm gonna, man, I mean, I still have to fix the exhaust thing just because it's an exhaust thing, number one, okay? I'm gonna let this uh, efficiency test run on its own. It's probably gonna trigger some other codes, but again, I'm not gonna worry about that entirely. But wow, look at that, NOx efficiency is zero. So we may have a bad NOx sensor, but the readings are probably correct. Uh, but I'm gonna show you a little trick that we found. Actually, a friend of mine showed me this. I don't wanna take all the credit for it. But uh, as of now, yeah, not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay, so as you can see, the test has failed. SCR efficiency test complete, check failed. So yeah, that's pretty obvious because the numbers are shit. Down to 0%, 17%. Either way, those are not good numbers at all. Uh, that's, that's pretty sad because now we gotta look at other alternatives. So I'm gonna show you one option that we found Again, I didn't invent this. However, a friend of mine uh, saw him do it, asked him about it, and it seems to work because we've tried it on a few things. Now, again, this is an EPA 10. It may change for other uh, emission standards, okay, which is a GHG 14, 17, or whatever the hell's out there right now. Again, it's not doing a delete because we're not gonna do that. However, it's just a, a, it's a workaround, and I hope it helps you guys out. So as of now, efficiency is shit. Uh, let's go downstairs and uh, take a look at the one box itself. Okay guys, so this is the NOx sensor, okay? We're still using the original one, which is gonna be, give me a second here, let me. This is the original one here. And all we're doing is we're simply tying it next to it. It's outside, but it's tied to it, so we're still getting heat, okay? This is just a plug, we use an old one. We're gonna clean this up a little bit, this is kinda ugly, but that's really one way to try to, I'm gonna say it, kinda trick the system a bit. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire it up, I'm gonna let it warm up, number one. Number two, I'm gonna plug in. I'm going to go ahead and try to do a NOx efficiency and just to see where the numbers are. So you saw what they were before, now let's see what happens after. Okay guys, so we are back. We're gonna warm up the truck. I showed you guys what we did underneath. And again, this, this is just to kind of see what's going on with the NOx efficiency. Um, I've tried it again on a few trucks before. So let's see what's going on here right now. What I'm gonna do again, go to the SCR system and I'm gonna go to bottom tab. I'm gonna go to perform test. Okay, we're gonna click on start. Now it does have to warm up. So that way it meets the criteria and it goes from there. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so it's gonna start doing the, doing the test and you can see there it's gonna start warming up, okay? Pretty much standard, that noise you hear is gonna be the sound of the engine brakes doing their job. That's to heat everything up. So I'll keep you guys posted uh, whether it passes or fails. We'll, we will find out, we're gonna find out together. Let's see if this works. so we are about 10 minutes in and I wanted to show you this now again it's not 100% but it's a way to kind of get around it you're gonna look at the numbers here inlet is at 139 outlet is at two parts per so again the further they are apart the better and your NOx efficiency goes up 98% again this is something we've done it works on your 2011 12 13s and I think around the 14 it changes the idea is again you're reading the outside air. So, so far, so good. The test is reading. That's the uh, RAC system fail. That's something a little different. Again, nothing to do with what we are doing. But so far, so good. NOx efficiency is up. Temperatures are good. Again, stabilized, which is what we want. Okay, we don't want, the, we don't want those numbers going all over the place. 
Um, again, I'm not doing a regen, I'm just simply doing an efficiency test, which is something you need your software for, okay? Pressures look good, temperatures, let me get that out of the way. That looks good. Let me go back to the SCR system and let's take a look and see what it now says. SCR test complete, check passed. So, that's good. That's a, that's a, um, that's, that's a win right there in my book. So guys, let me know if you have any questions. Again, this works with the, um, 11, 10, I'm sorry, 11, 12, 13 trucks, maybe even the 14, depending on, on the, uh, on the setup that you have. But here in Southern California, I've tried it in other states. It may be a little different depending on the outside temps. But uh, guys, if you have any questions, as always, hit me up. Let us know again. Guys, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, let me know.